What's up, everybody? Doc Dog1985. There's levels to this. Got a quick video for you guys today. So, I'm chilling on a nice Monday. Today's my day off. Got back from getting a haircut. Took my kids with me. We got haircuts. And uh, meal prepping, getting ready to go hit the gym here in a little bit. Hop on YouTube and I see my man um, Marlon from Marlon Gaming Nation. Shout out to you. He's on. So click on the stream. I'm watching as I'm cooking and all this other stuff, listening to him go, whatever. And somehow, some way, he got he got pushed into the topic of Xbox. Marlon goes on this rant about Xbox and everything that he's saying is hitting me. Hitting me like a dagger. It hurts. But everything that he's saying is truthful. Can't we can't find a lie in what he's saying. Now, <laughs> regardless of what you feel about anybody, when someone is telling the truth, you should accept it. I went ahead and I looked at what's been happening to me and my channel. And I've been getting accused of hanging out too much with the ponies and having the ears of the ponies and, 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 and the ponies having my ear and all this other stuff. But, but everything that I said is not because a pony told me so. I didn't, I didn't need a pony to tell me this. Out of all the BS that ponies talk about, every once in a while, they have a carrot that's truthful. That's not my fault if what I'm saying sounds like it's coming from a pony mentality. It's Xbox's fault. So... What is the point of an Xbox right now? The point is actually pretty simple. I'm going to tell you what is the best way for you to enjoy Xbox. Sincerely. To get the most out of your Xbox. Sincerely. The way you get the most out of your Xbox is by fully utilizing their entire ecosystem. If you do that, then you'll be fine. Um, I know I know you want an explanation. Let me explain it for you, okay? The power narrative is gone, so you're not going to get that, okay? The, um, and that still hurts me, the fact that they actually released a first-person shooter at 30 frames per second. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I should have gotten a PC, Ugh, whatever. The power narrative is gone. The ecosystem is the only thing that, that, that Xbox, I don't want to say the only thing, but the main thing that they have, and if you use it to its entirety, then you'll be fine. But let me explain it to you a different way. If someone asks me, how do I get the most out of my Nintendo Switch? All I'm going to do is show them games. That's, that's literally what I'm going to do. Now, don't, don't be mad at me. Again, do not be mad at me. You need to be mad at Xbox for what, I, what I'm about to say, okay? Again, Nintendo Switch, I'm going to show them games. If somebody said, how do I get the most out of my PlayStation 5? I'm going to tell you, if you're going to get a PlayStation 5, get it with the intention of actually playing their exclusive games. If you don't like their exclusive games and you just want to get PlayStation 5 to play Madden, 2K, Call of Duty, whatever the case may be, that's fine, but shut your mouth when it comes to the console wars. That's why, even though my son is a huge Sony pony, he's back there right now using the PS5 to play Apex Legends because that's the only thing he plays. He tried to tell me that God of War is a good game and he hasn't even touched it yet. God of War Ragnarok. You know what I mean? So, it's, again, it's, it's ridiculous. What you want to do if you're an Xbox fan is you want to do things like my son Juju is doing right now. He decided that he wanted to play Assassin's Creed. Now, why did he want to play Assassin's Creed? Because he got on Game Pass, saw Assassin's Creed Origin, liked Assassin's Creed Origin, and for whatever reason got in his mind that he wanted to play the first Assassin's Creed. 
Now, the beautiful thing about the Xbox Series X is that when I go to the place to the Xbox store, Assassin's Creed was in there, the very first one. It was $20. You guys know my rule. I, I don't like buying games over $20, right? And with Game Pass, I don't really have to buy games. But this game was not in Game Pass, so I went ahead and I bought it. $20 for Juju. Juju now is playing Assassin's Creed on the Xbox Series X. And because he's playing it on the Xbox Series X, it's a 360 game. It's upscaled to 4K and it's running at 60 frames per second. I don't know what it was running at before, but I doubt it was running at 4K before. But regardless, it looks beautiful. It looks amazing on the Xbox Series X the way he's playing it right now. Use the ecosystem. I recently bought an uh, Asus ROG Ally, right? This device right here, okay? This is, for all intents and purposes, just a, a handheld PC. That's what it is. When I bought it, one of the first things that I downloaded was Game Pass on it. I have downloaded games on this. I have streamed games on this. And right now, I'm currently playing Atomic Heart. And I have Atomic Heart downloaded on this. And I also have it downloaded on my Xbox. When I go to bed at night, I have a charger up there. I lay down in bed, put like a little charger in, and I'm playing Atomic Heart until I get tired, turn it off, go to sleep. When I come downstairs in the morning, especially like a day today where I'm not working, I go ahead and I hop on my Xbox Series X and I play Atomic Heart. And the cloud save saves automatically and I'm exactly where I left off playing the exact same game. Use the ecosystem. I went ahead and on my phone and I downloaded Bing. I downloaded Bing. I don't use Google to search anymore. Bing. So I could get the reward points for searching. Use the ecosystem. I'm getting these trophies. I'm getting these achievements. I'm getting all these points, whatever. Use the ecosystem. That is the best way for you to enjoy Xbox. If you only have a console right now on the when it comes to Xbox and you're not utilizing anything else that Xbox has to offer, you are truly missing out. Nintendo and Sony don't have anything else to offer as far as ecosystem goes. So you have to just enjoy their games. So if you're not a person that likes the style of games that PlayStation makes, then you probably shouldn't get a PlayStation. It makes, it makes no sense. If you're one of those people that likes to play free-to-play games, right? then I don't understand why you would get a PlayStation. That, that's the one scenario where I actually do see the Series S making more sense. If you're only going to play Madden, 2K, Call of Duty, Fortnite... Uh, Apex Legends, Warzone, all those games, whatever, then I could see the, 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 the Series S actually making sense for those types of games or whatever. That's the type of game that you are. But as far as everything else goes, the ecosystem is the best way for you to enjoy Xbox. If you want to disagree with me, you're more than welcome to. I welcome it. Go ahead. But understand this. It is not my fault that I feel this way about Xbox. This is what Xbox is showing me. If you purchased a Series X right now, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. One last thing that was brought up in that stream that I watched in Marlin Gaming Nation was the question of how many FPS is Perfect Dark going to run? Now, if you guys don't know, Perfect Dark is my favorite game of all time. Hence the name Doc Dark. Okay, if this game is not 60 frames per second and it's a first person shooter, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. The camera actually cut off. I'm going to be extremely disappointed. And what makes this even more sad is the fact that I can't look you in the eye and tell you that I know for a fact Microsoft wouldn't drop a first-person shooter at 30 frames on the Series X. Because they already have. Doc Dog 1985, there's levels to this. There's no pony in my ear, guys. I'm just watching Microsoft, seeing what they're doing. We out. Peace.